Good morning guys and welcome back to Journal of Nomads. Now if you guys are long-time viewers of this channel you know that Cynthia and I we both absolutely love hiking and also that we've been living for the past year in a country called Kyrgyzstan which is a hiker's paradise. Now we've been on many hikes around this country but in this video I'd like to tell you more about a trip I made to a region of Kyrgyzstan you should absolutely visit. This region is called Jirgalan. I went on this trip with a group of bloggers from all around the world and the whole event was organized by USAID and Discover Kyrgyzstan. But first, let me bring you guys back to where the adventure started, on the shores of Lake Izikul. So for the last few days, Cynthia and I, we were staying in this hotel just by Lake Izikul and I'm gonna show you guys what the lake actually looks like from here. It's nice to still be able to swim in the water in September. The water is so nice and warm. I think I'm gonna be late from a trip. <laughs> Apparently, our bus is already here, and here I am, not ready. So for the next seven days, we're gonna be in company of Tanya. She's gonna be our local guide. She was born in Bishkek, and she knows Kyrgyzstan very well, so we're in good hands. The first day of our adventure, we drove from Chalponata to Jirgalan village, a small village located in the Tian Shan Mountains that used to be an old mining town. The first hiking trek we did on a journey was a 12 km hike to this 20 meter waterfall called Kukbel Waterfall. So this is our first stop on this trip. We are in Jirgalan Valley at the moment and we're gonna go see this beautiful waterfall. Look at the valley around, it's just fantastic. So guys, the place where we are now used to be an old coal mining town. This country just keeps surprising me. And what's cool on this trip is that I'm going to all of these places that I haven't been to before. It's kind of like a, a fun way to end my stay in this country. I've seen a lot of beautiful places in Kyrgyzstan, but nowhere quite as idyllic as Jirgalan Valley. There's all these little meadows and high alpine pastures everywhere. So we're hiking up this little valley at the moment, guys, and wow. It's really spectacular. So I have to remind myself to take pictures on this trip because normally Cynthia is the photographer and I always film, but Cynthia's not here, so I have to remember. So on this trip, I'm here with other bloggers from all over the world. So I'm gonna link down their website, social media platforms down below, and you guys can go and check out their content. Really good articles. We're just arriving at the waterfall now, guys. The height and the impressive rocks around it, as well as the pleasant landscapes on the way there, make this waterfall a nice walk from Jirgalan village. So I'm here with Kay, and I think on this trip, she's gonna start her YouTube career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get some good stuff. After a long ride from Cholponata to Jirgalan Valley and a hike up to the waterfall, we were going to Jirgalan village. So we've just arrived in our guest house where we're gonna spend the night. So this village where we are is really, really nice. There's a lot of old uh, Soviet era machines. So it, the whole place has like this feel of of stepping back in time, you know? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So this is gonna be my bed and that's the view outside. The Alakul Jirgalan guest house was the perfect place to rest. It's really peaceful and quiet, it's in the middle of nature, and it's right at the base of the Tian Shan Mountains. And that was the end of our first day, and to be honest, I couldn't be happier being surrounded with other travel bloggers. It's just so much fun to be amongst colleagues for once. 
So some of you guys might be wondering why Cynthia doesn't appear in this video. It's because she had already left to another country. But just in case you guys are wondering, we didn't break up. Good morning guys. Today we're going on a 15 kilometer hike. I kind of been craving this since my trip to Alakul with Alexei in the group. So I'm always very happy when I go on a big hike. 10, 15K, makes me happy. Ready for the hike, guys? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So as most hikes in Kyrgyzstan, you can always find a lot of horses in nature like these guys here, just enjoying the sun. So all of this beautiful valley here, guys, is called Jurgalan Valley. Cynthia and I have been in Kyrgyzstan for nearly one year, so it was interesting to ask other travelers who had just arrived what they thought about the country. Beautiful, really beautiful. Maybe the most beautiful place I've ever been. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's official. This hike was quite challenging, but at the same time so satisfying. It's tough. It's steep. It's quite steep, huh? But it's really beautiful. Yeah, the views are worth it. And when we finally arrived at the top, it was time for a well-deserved break and a small nap. So we just made it to the highest point of our hike, guys. I don't know how the hike is called, but I'm gonna write it down here. It was um, fairly challenging. I feel slightly out of shape, but it's good. I feel really satisfied, really happy I did it. And the views okay. are amazing. I mean, really incredible. Totally panoramic views of mountains up here, which is worth all of the uphill scramble. So now we're going down back to the village where we slept last night. We'll try not to slip and fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The walk back to Jurgalin village was really serene and we passed through forests and pastures and took in excellent mountain views from the path. I have to say it feels really really peaceful up here. You can see super far away. So now it's starting to rain a bit in the distance we can hear the thunder. So uh, hopefully we make it back home before we get wet. So we're back where we started this morning, guys. This is actually our guest house right here. We were really, really lucky during our hike today. We barely got just a little tiny bit of rain, but now that we're back, now it's raining. Good morning guys, so today is day 3 of our adventure. Today we're doing something quite similar to what we did yesterday. We're going on a 15 kilometer trek in the mountains. Today's supposed to be a bit easier. I'm really looking forward to it again. The end point of our hike today is this beautiful mountain lake and we're almost there. It should be right behind that ridge up ahead. This hike turned out to be the most difficult one we have done in Jurgalan, but arriving at the lake made it all worthwhile. So we arrive at the end point of our trek, guys. This is Chungkur Tor Lake, right here behind me. It was definitely worth the effort. It's really beautiful up here. Good job, Kay. Kyrgyzstan is definitely a hiker's paradise. So many beautiful mountains everywhere and they're all very easily accessible. There's something I love about hiking in Kyrgyzstan, it's just how quiet all the mountains are, how, you know, it's just you and the mountain. 
Kyrgyzstan is a country full of wild, untouched nature, and it's really a hiker's paradise. If you're an outdoor lover, don't hesitate. Come, you won't regret it.